Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for another video here. Um, this is a race I had the other night at Daily Race B, uh, Dragon Trail Seaside. Uh, did a stream on this track the other night and was really enjoying it, so I thought I'd go on and do another race offline to see what happened and see if we could get a good result. And I think this is just a, a prime example on this game how you can never uh, give up till the end. You never know what's going to happen. So. Starting off in ninth place, it was a slightly higher ranked lobby that I was in this time for a change. And Frenchman in front in the Porsche 911, which I was really surprised to see, but uh, it actually had really good pace through here. It's just about stuck with them through the first corner, but uh, he is he's going well. Following through first time through the desk chicane. You know, not too bad. Taking a fair bit of the wall on my way there, though. And really, you're starting in ninth. I was the number nine car in terms of the your car number of where it predicts that you sort of should finish for your ranking. So I was just hoping to pick up a couple of places where I can and, uh, and try and stick with this pack in front and hang in there and see what happens. This uh, triple bend through here on the, the downhill is definitely my weak point through all of this week. Not making it too badly through there but not quite quick enough. But barely hanging on here as I can't believe that I'm getting dropped by a, a Porsche around this track. I've not seen anybody else using that car but this chap really was absolutely flying there. And coming around here for the, the final chicane has, from what I remember, coming around here I think I was just about in the slipstream and then I didn't get as good an exit there and because all three of those drivers in front of me had the slipstream of each other I just instantly lost it so I'm now on the back foot in ninth place I had a load of time behind me to the car behind me a good two and a bit seconds and uh, over a second now almost to the cars in front so I managed to hook the first corner up as nicely as we can just trying to hope for some kind of mistake I mean they are fighting in front the Porsche has gone up into 7th place now uh, from 8th and we've now got the orange Supra of the Dutchman to chase down so do it really nicely through the death chicane there tempting fate with how close it's getting to that barrier on the right hand side but we make it through then because of carrying too much speed through there go way too deep but just about keep it on the track and we are now in the slip of the Dutchman in front trying to catch up we're just going to be hunting this pack down now, trying to put consistent corners together and uh, seeing what we can do. Again, just not by much, but just missing these apexes down the hill it makes such a big difference on the time and about sticking with the pack in front, but really need to work on that on this reverse layout. But firmly in the slipstream now as we come round to the last set of corners, right up with the super in front, that fighting that they've been doing up ahead is, uh, is really helping me out. Now we're going to hopefully have the slipstream for this next straight, so let's see if we can gain any places. Unfortunately the Frenchman, that amazing drive that he's been doing in the Porsche comes to an end, catches too much of that curve and goes flying off and at the same time the Dutchman has uh, just a terrible exit to that corner. I don't know what happened if he was in the wrong gear or uh, he just didn't quite get on the power in time but we've managed to go past him. Are we going to be able to defend it into this first one? He chooses the outside for some reason, I guess he just didn't really want to challenge for that corner at that time, so we managed to hold on to 7th place and we've moved up 2 places. Moving on a little bit here, um, nothing really happens, we just stay in the middle. The Dutchman ruined his exit through the death chicane there, so we managed to pull a bit of a gap out and we're now kind of in no man's land. So 7th place, from what I remember it was pretty much equidistant front and back here, so we've got just over a second to the car behind just over a second to the car in front and again it's all just going to be about some consistency we managed to do that last sector pretty smoothly and uh, pull it down to about a second behind here but still uh, a lot of work to do and these are decent drivers up uh, front as well so I'm not planning on anybody giving it up easily managed to hook that last chicane up nicely there onto the straight and we'll skip forward a little bit here again um, outside of the slipstream to not really gain any here and it's now the final lap so I'm thinking okay just drive smoothly in seventh place it's not the best but ahead of where my 
driver rating says I should be. So let's just drive smooth, bring it home, and you're going to see here the reason why I'm saying this is really not a race to ever give up on, no matter where you are on the track. So as you come round the right hander there, there's one person already has fallen victim to the death chicane going through. And there's a lot of cars bunched up closely together there, going round the left. And as we come round the corner, we're going to see just absolute carnage ensuing. The cars just left, right, and centre, ghosted all over the place. We're now flying up on the driver in third. Fair play, he goes to defend, realises it's late and lets me through. So good driving there from the Italian to uh, not just block me on the track as he easily could have done there. A little bit of pressure from behind now to hang on to the position. Got to make sure that I do these last few corners uh, smoothly enough. I'm wondering whether he's going to go through the inside but stick to the race in line and just come across as early as I can get on the power nice and smoothly and uh, just let the back end go a little bit through that downhill left hander there. So it's all just a case now of getting through this final chicane smoothly enough and we might be suddenly on a podium. So we've gone from ninth to seventh in no man's land and then from seventh to third in the blink of an eye. So uh, just pull out the slipstream there a little bit to try and make sure that I'm definitely getting far enough ahead and uh, we are going to bring it home in third place. So. Here you go, just proof, as I say, that there's never a time to give up in this game. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. I had to go back and have a look at what actually happened there because how that many drivers got caught up, and I found this was the best angle. So the one driver goes off there through the uh, the death chicane. So we're going to follow on board here with JM Concepts, or J Concepts rather. So we've got the first driver there off. Now, the Italian and the Frenchman here having a real go at each other as the Portuguese driver comes up. German comes out of nowhere. Punt there into these two and then gets spun around and it's as easy as that. So a couple of drivers bunching up together. I think this Portuguese driver just didn't really know where to go and probably was completely misjudged his braking because of how much more slowly those cars were going in front and uh, suddenly I'm up into third place. So. Uh, it's a fun race, just one to share there to, to show, like I say, that you never never should give up and never know what's going to happen. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like or a, a comment if you did. And there is also the Instagram up and running now for anybody who wants to see when I'm going live and when new videos are going up. Just search for JBay Racing on Instagram and uh, hopefully see some of you guys on the track soon. Thanks very much.